Good morning, guys. Uh, I'm Simon. And I'm Kirsteen. And together we are Woody's, Woody's hooked, hooked in, in France. France. Okay. So when you arrive at the lake, this is where uh, you'll, you'll come to the gate, which we lock at night. Uh, there's also security on the up there. There's, there's cameras uh, going in and out, so which are recording all the time. So this site's always nice and secure. So welcome to our lake. So when you arrive, you'll come down the track and uh, yeah, you, you'll follow the track down, right down to the bottom where we'll welcome you. Um, you can use the facilities and possibly have a cold drink. So you join me now in Double Island, which you'll go past as you come into the lake um, on your left hand side in your car. Uh, this is a very large double swim. There's room for two massive bivvies in here, one up here, one down there. Um, and I even allow you to park your car just behind the swim as long as we can get in and out, um, delivery of our drivers, etc. cetera, um, that's fine. Um, this, this swim is, I call it the moon, the, the way the, the, the lake bed goes up and down out there. It's, it is just like up, down, there's little troughs, there's gullies, there's, it, it's just incredible. But big feature on this side of the lake is, is that there's a, a massive plateau that runs across there and it's rock solid. When I drain the lake down, it's, it's so visible. Um, coming along to the corner of the island, there's a bar that runs off, fishing just in front of the bar is good. Then there's obviously loads of features along the, bar, the, along the island and there's a little ledge off the side of the island. Coming along here, there's more bars to find. Then obviously the person on the right hand side has got access to the channel um, and right the way down to the oak tree, uh, which is sort of your boundary. But I'll tell you in a little bit, a bit more about that because that's a really good place to intercept some of the fish. So one of the things that we've added to the lake since we've owned it is electric points in every single swim. Um, as you can see, we've kitted them out with UK plugs with USBs in them to make it really safe to charge your devices such as your phones, your boats, etc. Um, there is a small extra charge for this service. Um, we don't normally allow things like heaters and fridges and any high drain items. However, it is possible if you speak to us, but there will be a small extra fee on top. Um, the other thing we offer is Wi-Fi. So every swim I've got Wi-Fi positioned all the way around the lake and in every swim you can get speeds of 20 to 30 MPS. So it's plenty fast enough to, to stream your movies, etc. Watch catch up on your carp videos. La la. <laughs> So yeah, from the double island, this is the sort of the furthest point that you can fish to. Um, just in line here with the oak tree, there's a lovely spot where the fish come around the island and they come up, it's, shut, it's deeper down here and there's a really good shelf. And if you intercept them sort of down in that area there, yeah, a lot of fish get caught from that area. So, uh, down towards the house end, we've got the swim that's called the natural, okay? Uh, you're going to see some of the water now as he pans the camera around. Um, good spot, just the other side of that bubbler. Um, there's usually a load of pads here, but you can fish close up to the pads. I've done quite a lot of work at removing them so that it's a much more fishable swim. Um, and then you've got all of this area around to the right and you'll see in a moment we'll, we'll show you a little bit more about the rest of the swim. But basically the post over there is, uh, usually it's a single swim but since I've done the work we've, I've noticed that people now quite like to double up in it because you've got all the water to the right there and all the water to the left so it is possible for two of you to fish in that post. And so this is the rest of the natural, okay. 
This area is usually really paddy, um, but there's some lovely gaps in the pads um, that, yeah, often do the big fish. Uh, Odd Scale is known to love it down here, as is Rhino, the two biggest commons. Uh, here you join me down in the natural. Uh, this is a lovely place to sit in the evening. We've got a couple of benches here. Uh, you can sit down here, enjoy your dinner as a group, have a little bit of a social, have a catch up on the day's fishing, and just basically enjoy the peace and tranquility of the place. So once you've arrived, yeah, we do ask you just to use this barrel here, take the lid off, stick your nets in it for a few minutes, please, because uh, the welfare of our fish is always our number one concern. So this is one of the spots you've got access to from the natural, from the left-hand side of the swim. You'll see there, there's a nice little gap. Now, normally this isn't uh, underwater. This is just because it's April and we've had a lot of rain. But yeah, you could still get a rod there. Um, fishing just underneath that tree is a brilliant spot. And then, yeah, fishing in slightly a different direction. This is another premium spot that uh, last year in uh, end of April, beginning of May, saw the capture of two of the biggest residents in the lake. So around the lake, there's a couple of these dinghy boats. Um, these are here just for emergencies. So if you get snagged up, you can go out and safely retrieve your rig. Uh, if you do go out, we ask you, or well, you must wear a life jacket. Uh, you have to sign a disclaimer when you get here, if you're gonna go out in the boat, um, just to say that you understand that and uh, you do so at your own risk. This is one of our regulars to the lake, Taz. Um, he comes pretty much every year. Um, I don't know if you want to say just a few words about the place. Yeah, I've been coming here, coming here for probably about 11 years now. Um, and I've seen the work Simon's put in over the last five or so years. Um, it's really come on, it's looking great. Everything's really well kept. Um, and the fish are, are producing, so um, doing wonders really. Can't grumble. Um, yeah, keep catching, keep coming back, all good. And I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so get moving on from the natural. We're walking up now towards the swim called Big Double. Um, this water here is still um, part of naturals on the left hand side. But um, there's quite a clear boundary, basically, where the aerator is. That's sort of the cut-off point for the person in the natural. And then the person on the left of Big Double has all the water where you'll see. There's absolutely tons of water for the people in Big Double. Join me now in Big Double. Um, as the name suggests, this is another double swim. Um, loads of water in front of you here. Um, plenty of room for two people um, not to be on top of each other. Um, I say to my fishermen when they get here, if you were fishing with 10 rods, not that you ever would, but you just wouldn't be fishing all the features. There's just so many for you to find. So this is the last peg on the lake. Um, this one's called the roadside. Uh, now this one isn't fished very often because most of the time people double up in big double, double island and down in the natural and leave this one free. Um, that has the advantage of it not cutting the fish off. Um, but if people aren't fishing either of those sides, it's a way to attack the fish from a slightly different angle. Um, it also is available that there's a little bit of space there. It's not a lot, 
but it is possible to get a small caravan down there so we do welcome if you if you have if that's your your thing um, you can bring a small caravan down here and then you can basically fish straight out of your your, your caravan Les Montautiers is an established quality carp fishery located in the Mayenne district of Pays de Loire with an existing stock of immaculate carp of all varieties. This beautiful five-acre lake is over 350 years old and is bordered by mature oak trees and traditional French poplars. There are many features, including two islands, overhanging trees, reeds, bays, several sets of pads, and a large channel between the islands and numerous hidden plateaus. Le Montautier is a perfect destination for anglers of all abilities. Whether it's your first trip to France or you're a seasoned, experienced traveler looking for that fish of a lifetime, Hooked in France provides first-class on-site facilities hosted by friendly owners Simon and Castine, who are always on hand to offer advice and tips to ensure that all our guests enjoy their stay.